Yeah, what I mean is, of course, what I mean is lipid soluble because I say the cell is fat storing and vitamin A storing. Is that right? It stores a lot of vitamin A. Right? This cell is called uh, stellate cell, stellate cell, and this is also called itocells, ito, itocells. Why I'm stressing on this? Because when liver has inflammation for a long time, inflammatory mediators stimulate these itocells and they lose their fat and they become very aggressive and dangerous cells. When liver is, when there is hepatitis for a long time, chronic hepatitis, in the liver of course many chemical mediators of inflammation are produced. Those chemical mediators of inflammation can stimulate itocells and this convert into myofibroblast and then they start secreting a lot of collagen. And you imagine that if there is, suppose you have some hepatitis B virus unfortunately and that hepatitis B virus is producing chronic hepatitis, then if chronic hepatitis is really for a long time, all the ito cells in your liver will be stimulated, they will start producing a lot of collagen. So your liver will be generalized fibrotic, fibrosis will develop. And of course, these ito cells when they put a lot of collagen here, this collagen which is produced in this area, because ito cells are here, isn't it? This collagen will constrict around, what is this? Sinusoid. So many capillary vest system will be fibrosed or they will be constricted and liver blood flow will alter. Some areas will have less blood flow and more necrosis. Some area will have over blood flow and hyperplastic nodules will develop. So eventually liver will become fibrotic and nodular. We call it cirrhosis. And these are one of the major player in cirrhosis, itocell. So how many cells we talk about? Of course, the minimum you should know, liver has a fatocyte. Is that right? But more important is that, of course, in the sinusoids, there are endothelial cells and there are kuffer cells, right? But you should not forget that outside the sinusoid, in the space of DC, there's a very nasty group of cells which are called itocells. Usually they are like good friends, they're not making any trouble. But when they become irritated, they're after your life. What was the relation to vitamin A? Usually they are uh, vitamin A storing cell, right? and they store a lot of fat and vitamin A. But actually, when they are irritated by chronic inflammatory system, then they start producing collagen and they start damaging the whole liver ar architecture. Is that right? No problem. Now, we have to talk about another aspect. I will just draw rapidly that these are your sinusoids, right? And when we are talking about this structure, which I am which explaining here, this is called, what is this? Classic lobule. And in classic lobule, explanation goes like this. In the center there is central vein and there is a polyhexagonal lobule. And at the corner there are portal triads, right? And uh, blood is coming from the periphery to the center. And the hepatocytes are in between making the... Now we'll make it rapidly, right? Hepatocytes are small cells or large cells? They are large cells and they are having specialized surfaces. One surface is towards the space of DC. We deal with the substances which are coming into blood. Other surface is have making, what is that? Bilary? Canaliculi. Is that right? And these cells are very rich in lysosomes, they are very rich in peroxisomes and they have a lot of mitochondria and these cells also have a lot of, yes, Golgi operators, that about 50 Golgi operators uh, units are present in per hepatocyte. You know why? Because they are synthesizing a lot of proteins. Hepatocytes synthesize, you know, plasma proteins. Albumin, they synthesize the coagulation factors and they synthesize many other proteins, right? Albumin, alpha globulins, beta globulins, coagulation factors, angiotensinogen, right? And hepatocytes, of course, you should not forget, they also synthesize, yes, what else they synthesize? 
the synthesized lipoproteins. Do you know about lipoproteins? You know about especially the synthesized very low density lipoprotein VLDL and hepatocytes also synthesize LDL. Hepatocytes synthesize cholesterol also. Do you know that or not? You don't know that, right? So hepatocytes basically produce lipoproteins, especially VLDL. VL, VLDL is secreted by the hepatocytes to the blood. And VLDL act as a carrier of triglycerides, right? Then hepatocytes also synthesize another lipoprotein, which is a bad low density lipoprotein, which is also called LDL. And LDL act as a main carrier of cholesterol. They are releasing, hepatocytes are releasing VLDL, which is carrier of triglyceride, VLDL, VLDL, very low density lipoproteins. They are carrier of triglyceride. And they also synthesize LDL, uh, which is the main carrier of cholesterol. So hepatocytes can synthesize cholesterol, pack into LDL, and LDL will come here and go to the blood. So LDL will be supplied to the peripheral tissues. And VLDL can also be synthesized by that and secreted in space of DC. And then they go where? Of course, general circulation eventually. And then triglyceride can be supplied to the peripheral tissues. Right? And uh, hepatocytes also synthesize HDL. What is HDL? High density lipoprotein, right? So one of the very important function of the hepatocytes is that they are also involved in synthesis and secretion of lipoproteins. They are also producing. Oh, another very important function of the hepatocyte is activation of vitamin D. Uh, modification, rather I should say modification of vitamin D. Vitamin D comes to the hepatocyte in the form of cholecalciferol. Choli. I should write it here. Choli, calci, ferrol. Vitamin D come to the hepatocytes as choli, calci, ferrol. And in the hepatocytes, there is an enzyme which is called 25 hydroxylase present, which will hydro do hydroxylation of choli, calci, ferrol at 25th carbon. And then choli, calci, ferrol is called 25 hydroxy choli, calci, ferrol. So one of the function of hepatocyte is it convert the cholecalciferol, which is a type of vitamin D, into 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol. Then 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol goes to your kidney cell. There it get one more hydroxylation, right? At carbon number one, then it convert into 125 dihydroxy cholecalciferol. One hydroxylation in the liver and one hydroxylation in the kidney. kidney. When vitamin D becomes double hydroxylated, then it becomes fully active to deal with the calcium and phosphate. Why it is so relevant? Because in liver diseases and in kidney diseases, vitamin D metabolism may also be disturbed, right? So what we were talking about, these are hepatocyte plates, right? And how many functions of hepatocyte I told you? That they synthesize the plasma proteins, they synthesize the lipoproteins, they also synthesize the, yes, they can secrete the bile towards the what is this? Bilirubin canaliculi, right? Can you tell me the components of the bile? I will not go into some simple things that bile has water. I will just tell me the most important components of the bile. Okay, this is a beautiful star. There are five things that at least you are supposed to know which are present in the bile. Bilirubin, conjugated bilirubin. Bilirubin, yes. What, el what else is present? Yes, please. There is also uh, phospholipids and lecithins, lecithins, which are synthesized by the hepatocyte and secreted into biliary system. And then cholesterol. If you have extra cholesterol in the body, these cells can uh, secrete those cholesterol into biliary system. Then biliary system has, yes, please. Yeah, this is very important thing, IgA, IgA antibodies, let me tell you exactly where they are produced. There are active B cells, the plasma cells here in space of DC. They produce IgA and IgA is taken up by the hepatocytes and then pumped into biliary drainage system. So through the bile, 
lot of IgA come into GIT and protect the GIT against the virus and bacteria and other invading organisms, right. So, what else is present in the bile? There is bilirubin, there is phospholecithins, uh, phospholipids and less, uh, lecithins, there is cholesterol and of course, something very important I want you to tell me. There is something very important in the bile. Please tell me bile salt, that is great. Bile acid than bile salts. Bile salts or bile acids, right? Can you tell me some name of the bile acid? Cholic acid and chino deoxycholic acid. Cholic CHO, cholic acid and other bile acid is chino. I don't know it's from some Chinese founded. Chino <laughs> deoxy, chino deoxy cholic acid. Is that right? This is the minimum you are supposed to know about bile acids. So these are the components of the bile, right? And of course, you must know the many drugs which, which you take, I mean uh, drug for your diseases. Many drugs which you take, many of them are metabolized and their metabolic products are thrown into bile also. So that metabolite should go into urine. Of course, no, sorry, GIT and then fecal matter, yes. Because to throw it back to the urine, the drug metabolite should go to the space of DC and then into general circulation, then filter through the kidney and go into urine. Now, so we were talking about, so this is which structure? Classic lobule, right? Any question about this classic arrangement? If you have understood this, now I will tell you something interesting. Actually, another way to explain the structure is, that, okay, now you open your both eyes and look at the situation what I am going to do. You know, what is it? Actually, bile from here is going into that direction. Is that right? Into the periphery. Actually, from adjacent three classic lobules, you take three, what is this, central veins and in imagination you connect them. Now you can look at this structure within this triangle as bile secreting structure. As bile secreting structure and bile is moving to the center, uh, so sorry to the periphery. Is that right? And this type of lobule is called portal lobule. In the portal lobule, it is the portal system in the center. In the classic lobule, it is the central vein in the center, right? Okay, let me make it more clear here. Now these are three classic lobule and when we are looking at a classic lobule, we are basically concent uh, taking in the center of the liver parenchyma is central vein. So, all structure around is classic lobule, here is the classic lobule, here is the classic lobule. But if you think the central structure is your bile braining system, right? If this is the real central structure, then you have to look at this way because from here bile is coming. Now this triangle, this triangle is called portal lobule, right? And you know here liver is acting as exocrine gland. When liver is releasing bile, bile is not bile is the secretion but this is not endocrine secretion. What is this type of secretion? Exocrine. It is not uh, endocrine secretion. Look, endocrine secretions are secreted into blood and I think everyone knows that bile is not secreted in blood, right? And it is uh, secreted into special ductal system through which it will be drained away into GIT. So, this is exocrine secretion. So, when we are looking at liver as exocrine gland, 